That's Matthew Swalinkovich, or as he calls himself, Makana, Hawaiian for the gift. He's a well-known musician here on Oahu, recognized for his talents playing Hawaiian-style guitar. Saturday night, at the request of the White House, he played during the APEC Leaders' Dinner for President Obama, 18 other heads of states, and their spouses. A song about the Occupy Wall Street movement probably wasn't what the White House had in mind. During the dinner, as McConnell provided background music, he unbuttoned his shirt to reveal an Occupy with Aloha t-shirt underneath and played a protest tune. When I started it, I was very shy about it. I didn't just start pelting it or be like, everybody stop and listen to me. I was total opposite. It was like very subtle. But then McConnell played it over and over. He says for more than 40 minutes in all. It didn't go over bad, so I kept playing it. I, I felt like it was the only song I should be playing, and I should really play it a lot. I, I don't have any other means of exercising my voice to shape policy that affects my life other than singing and writing songs. Cell phone video recorded by McConaughey's sound technician shows some leaders turning to look at him, but others appeared not to notice at all, he said. So I just came from playing the World Leaders Dinner at APEC. Makana, who opposes the trade goals of APEC, planned his protest in conjunction with some anti-APEC organizers who edited this video together and helped him publicize what he'd done on the website apexsucks.com and on a fake Twitter feed about the summit. Makana first played for the Obamas at the White House in 2009. His second performance here in Hawaii is likely his last. When I thought, wow, you know, they're never going to invite me back if they find out or... And I thought to myself, so what? McConaughey said President Obama was on the other side of the tent from where he was performing. And from what he could see, President Obama seemed engaged in conversation throughout much of the dinner. And it was unclear if the president realized that he was listening to a protest song. The White House declined to comment on the incident. Brianna Keeler, CNN, Honolulu.